I'm doing this because there's no music in the vehicle right now. My radio took a dump and quit working. It, it, it would, uh, you'd be driving down the road and it'd be crackling and popping and it'd scare the crap out of you because you'd be driving down the road and pop, 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 and you'd be like, whoa! Oh, it's just a radio. It's really, really, really loud, really, really, really loud crackling, popping. Popping? What's popping? I know what popping is, but I don't know what popping is. Don't let me know if you know what popping is. Anyways, I did not mean to skip two days of filming and not posting something. I meant to skip one day. Saturday, I was going to take a break, not record nothing, not put nothing up. I said, screw it, I'm just going to take a day, not do nothing. I'm going to put something up on Sunday. Sunday rolls around. I'm sitting here chilling at a friend's house. It's freaking 11 o'clock at night. I'm like, crap, I didn't put a video up. Oh, well, I can skip a day of the day. It's not like it really matters, right? Not when I'm, I'm very popular. Man, I need to get me these sunglasses, man. These dudes are so daggum scratched up, it's horrible. I think some of it might be fingerprints and stuff, too, but I ain't got nothing on me. To clean it off, if I try to use my shirt, it just makes it worse. I'm taking a short break from, uh, I just dropped somebody off. I'm taking a short break from my, uh, lift for a moment. I had to come to Walmart, use the restroom, walk around a little bit, you know, stretch out a little bit. I decided to go ahead and do a little short thing while I'm sitting here. Uh, one of these days, I'm not sure what day, if it'll be today, tomorrow, or what, but one of these days, I do plan on going back to that cemetery. Y'all see me cover the, uh, Oakwood Cemetery one more time. Um... Not to show y'all any of the stuff I've shown you before, but to show you the, like, see if I can actually follow that blue and gray trail out there. I don't know, it's just something like, it's like an adventure to me, you know? I'm gonna try and clean these off. Golly, it's bright out here. But I wanna go out there and try and at least follow the uh, blue and gray trail. If nothing else, just for the adventure of it, you know, something fun to do. wonder why I'm dressed like I am, because it's in the little 50s outside, that's why I got this jacket on. That looks a little cleaner, looks a little better. Oh yeah, that's a little bit better. Still something right in here. I know this area right here is scratches, but I'm not sure what that is that I'm seeing. Anyways, uh, I do want to go out there and at least cover that blue and gray trail one time. And, uh, yeah, tear this off while I'm doing that. But, uh, I'm not sure what else I want to say about that. Oh yeah, uh, here in this local area where I live at, they had, uh, multiple school shootings threatened. And, uh, with today being April 1st, it's stupid, like, it was at, like, 8 o'clock at night when I found out about it, even though it had happened before then, you know, I had found out about it around 8, 9, somewhere in there. Well, actually, it was after 9, because my girlfriend was off work, so it was after 9 o'clock. No, no, I'll take that back, I found it out at my friend's house about 8 o'clock. Anyways, I found out about it later in the day that, um, multiple schools, let's see, there was Kilgore, Rescross, Chapel Hill, Overton... In Henderson, there's five schools. Five schools. I don't know why I'm doing this. Five! Like, you know, like Sesame Street. One, two, three, four, five! Five! Anyways. Um, there's five schools that uh, said they found a credible threat uh, on a Facebook page about uh, someone planning to do a shooting at those multiple schools. Well, some idiot had the audacity to say that it was an April Fool's joke. Like, really? If it was an April Fool's joke, then why would the cops be doing like they are? Why would they, like, call in the FBI and the Texas Rangers to investigate it if they thought it was an April Fool's joke? But, later on, like, uh, today, I wake up, go to check on the story. Of course, there's a lot of people, because of that, you know, that happened, there's a lot of people that did not send their kids to school. They finally come up and said it was a non-credible threat, and it was made by a fake Facebook account, but they're looking for whoever it was that set up the account. Because, you know, if it is a fake account and whatnot, you know, you can still face credible, you know, even if it's credible or not, you can still face charges for saying that crap on Facebook, you know? And they got their ways of tracking down on who it is. But yeah, this sucks, man. This radio. I was driving down the road and it just started popping and cracking for no reason. And... Every once in a while, you get like a little ee through the speakers, and that's it. Besides that, there's no sound, no music, or nothing coming out of these speakers anymore. It's like it, it died. It's like I'm done. Let me show you what it's doing now. This is all it does. You see that there where it says Sport Radio? That's all it does. It never turns on all the way. It just says Sport Audio like that. It never turns on all the way. But yeah. Uh... I noticed since some of these new rules got put up on Facebook 
I mean, on YouTube, uh, a lot of people are editing, editing their self more. They're taking their channels a whole new direction. I'm like, that's why I don't really do that. That's why I try and keep my, you know, my videos as fam family friendly as possible. So that way I don't have to worry about all that crap, you know. I don't mind sticking to the rules as long as the only people that are sticking to are complaining about YouTube are the ones that don't want to edit their cells. They don't want to stop cussing. They don't want to stop, you know, all the other stuff they do. Because, you know, I mean, I can understand where YouTube's coming from. I mean, I know it's screwing people over. I can kind of understand where they're coming from because, you know, with their platform and all the stuff that's happened in the past, they want to make it to where, like, if you have a lot of cussing or a lot of, like, violence or people yelling and screaming at each other, they want to make it to where those videos are harder to find and bring up the more wholesome videos like the gaming news or stuff like I'm doing out right now, just normal vlogs and all that. I can see why some people are upset about it. I can understand it, but I can, at the same time, I understand the, you know, the YouTube side of it. You do it for business because the advertisers, the ones that make you the money, are the ones that don't want the cussing and violence and all that. So, I can see both sides of it, you know. I can understand where everyone's coming from because, you know, the ones that have been there for years and years and they would do what they want, you know, cussing and all that other crap. And then, all of a sudden, they're not making as much money because YouTube's doing this new thing, because the advertisers want to do this thing. So I can understand where all they're coming from, where they're coming from, but it, like I said, at the same time, I understand where YouTube's coming from. Because you gotta work with the advertisers, because they're the ones that make you the money. Without them, you know, that's why we gotta have commercials. Even as annoying as they can be, why we can have, gotta have commercials and advertisers. It's kinda, I think it's hilarious, though, that so, a lot of these companies out there spend thousands and sometimes millions of dollars on an ad. It's going to play one time and one time only. It's only going to play throughout the Super Bowl. And that's it. I find it funny when they do that every year. That guy just had to basically do a U-turn because he came into the Walmart aisle the wrong way. I'm sitting in the parking lot. He came in the opposite direction where you're supposed to be coming. And he had to do basically like swing out and come around almost do a daggum U-turn and get to that parking spot. I've been guilty of it myself. I mean, it bugs the crap out of me when someone comes down the wrong way. But I will admit, I've been guilty myself sometimes not paying attention and turn down. Next thing I know, I'm in the wrong line. You know, I'm going down the aisle the wrong way. Fair alarm. Can you see it? I think it's behind me. No, it's over there. Or is it behind me? It might be up here beside me. Okay, that's the echo, so it's coming from that way. Hey, gunk. Anyways, I'm in the parking lot that... This is one of the parking lots I used to work in. I used to help clean this parking lot. I've only done this parking lot as long as I worked at Power Suite. The one, I, mean, I, I know y'all saw the video of it. I got a video of it up uh, when I was sitting there chilling, waiting on the guy to get done sweeping the lot. I saw y'all the truck. I always put it up a lot over in Longview. This is here in Tyler. I did this lot a total of six times the whole time I was working there. Because I never took this route much. I mean, we took the route that came through Tyler, but we never came through this store very often. Or at least the nights that they came to the store was my nights off. And the times that I did work here, I either got called in, or I um, had to be riding with somebody, you know, on the night on my night schedule. They ended up switching me with someone else instead of riding with the normal guy I ride with. They put me with someone else. But that company's in a lawsuit right now for unpaid wages and stuff because I understand where they're coming from with that because there's times we work hours upon hours with each other and never um, never get paid for it. Like, we get overtime. You know, we're supposed to get overtime paid, but we never, like... I would work sometimes between 30 to 40 something, more than 40 hours a week, and I was making straight up six, uh, $600 every two weeks in order. How much extra I worked, and also... If we, if we were working our normal route, cleaning a lot, and we had to go to another lot, and, you know, we had to go, not to another lot, we had to go to someone else's route and cover for them, we were supposed to get bonuses, but that never happened. It doesn't matter how much I worked, I was getting the same amount of money every time. And there's, I found out, too, that there's a few nights that I basically work for free. So, the lawyers called me this morning and told me about it, so I'm in with the lawsuit waiting to see what happens to that. I'll keep y'all updated on that situation. Here's that company, Paris. I mean, I knew something like this was probably going to happen to him because the guy was horrible the way he ran it. I mean, you go in for a job interview and do it the application. It's kind of sad when you go in there and you go to do your application and basically the boss tells you, I'm only doing this as a formality. 
Plus, there is no background check or drug test in this company. And I'm doing the application as a, you know, as a thing. And he also told me that, um, me working as a helper, there would be no taxes taken out of mine, which is illegal. There is no taxes taken out of my check. And the fact that, um, uh, I was basically being paid, even though I was receiving an actual paper check, I was basically being paid under the table and I didn't exist in the company. So the lawyers told me that they may or may not be able to add me, but they should be able to add me to the lawsuit because of me working there. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, like I said, I'll keep them updated on that situation. I'll have to see if they add me or not, because I said that with you know me basically not existing, anyone that worked there is a helper. We don't exist. It's like all the drivers, even though it never happened, they did have helpers. It's like the, uh, it's like the helpers did not exist. It's like we, uh, it's like it's just the drivers that existed, not the helpers. They were out there alone when, that's crap. I mean, you know, there's, there's a couple of drivers. I mean, there was a few nights a week that, they, yeah, they were out there by themselves. There wasn't any helpers. But Thursday through Sunday, it was all hands on deck because those are the busiest nights for Walmart and all that. So the boss wanted all hands on deck to do it, even though... Every week, there's somebody, or at least two people that we knew were not going to show up. It's like it got to the point where we knew who was going to be there, who wasn't going to be there, who we could rely on, who was sketchy and may not, you know, be able to rely on them. I'm not sure if you want to use the word sketchy or if you can just use the word flaky on that, you know. Because there's some people that would show up faithfully every time. I mean, we knew exactly what time they would be there and everything. I mean, they may be a little later, but we knew they would be there. And what truck they were taking out that night. But there's other people, you had to guess if they are going to be there or not. And sometimes you'd have to wait like an hour uh, at the yard. And then they would show up like when they, you know, when they pleased to show up. Like I said, I'll keep y'all updated on the lawsuit. And I'll let y'all know what's going on with that. And if I do get any money out of it, I'll let y'all know. But I'm not going to tell y'all how much I get out of it. If anything, I doubt I get it. I mean, I'm not having any high hopes for it because of the way lawyers were talking. I don't have any eye hopes right now because I said they, they, they are for sure doing the drivers because they have paperwork on them, pay, you know, pay stubs and all that. But even them, they were, you know, some of the drivers were not even have taxes taken out of their checks either. But, you know, it's like, yeah, you get more money that way, but at the same time, that's illegal. I think my headset just tried to connect to the phone. Usually that means somebody's calling me, but I guess it's not. Anyways, um, y'all got the update. Y'all know what's going on. And, uh, yeah, I'll pop this up there on YouTube, and, uh, please like, subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe for more videos like this, or more, uh, I'm going to start doing more gaming again soon. It may be recorded videos and not live because of the situation at the house right now, but I might be able to find a way to do them live. I'll figure that out. Like I said, like if, uh, you want to, give me a thumbs up, just whatever on that, comment if you want to, if you want to interact with me. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Uh, until next time, I'll be back.